Hey guys, it's Tom from Liftoff. Today I'm going to show you how to disable automatic forwarding in your organization. This is the type of forwarding that end users can set up using inbox rules inside of Outlook. It's also an available setting inside of the webmail settings for your end users. Most organizations choose to prevent this so that data they don't want to be automatically sent outside of their organization uh, will not be sent. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is come to the 365 Admin Center. You can get there by going to admin.microsoft.com, as you know. Now I'm going to scroll down on the left-hand side and go to Admin Centers Exchange. Again, as you probably know, you could I could have gone directly here by going to outlook.office365.com slash ECP. Okay, now I'm going to go to Mailflow, and I'm going to click the plus and create a new rule. The first thing I'm going to do, the first thing I always do, is click More Options. It's much easier to create a rule that way. Here I'm going to say Disable Automatic Forwarding. Okay? You can call it whatever you want. Now I'm going to say Apply this rule if the sender is external, internal, and I'm going to choose Inside the Organization. Then I'm going to say the recipient is external, internal, but outside the organization. Okay, so this will only apply for messages from my organization set to forward to people outside the organization. Next, I'm going to say the message properties include the message type, and I'm choosing auto reply. Or I'm sorry, auto forward. Okay, so those are our criteria inside sender, outside recipient, and auto forward type of message. Now I'm going to say do the following. Reject them, uh, sorry, block the message, reject the message, and include an explanation. Here I'm going to say automatic forwarding is not allowed in your organization. So when the sender sets up automatic forwarding, their message will go out, they'll immediately get a non delivery with all the uh, error codes and the header and all that good stuff, plus this error message. Automatic forwarding is not allowed in your organization. And just for an example, I'm going to say that Brian, one of my colleagues, does want automatic forwarding and has been approved. So I'm going to add an exception just so you guys can see how to do it. I'm going to add an exception and say the sender is this person. I'm going to find Brian and click Add. Okay. So now everyone in my organization who's sending from inside to outside as an automatic forward will be rejected and get error that says automatic forwarding is not allowed in your organization except Brian. And obviously I can add and remove people from this list as needed. I'm going to click save. And that's it. I hope this has been helpful. Again, this is Tom from Liftoff. If you have any questions, go ahead and post in the comments below or shoot us an email at 365help at liftoffonline.com.